Hey, hello again everybody, Mr. Avocado here, and I will be continuing the quest for the Dark Brotherhood. So, let's get started. Um, we left off when we did our first actual contract, when we had to talk to Miri and the Hag's Cure and kill his lover and some other woman named Nilsine, who she was very close to. Alright, so, we ended. Ooh, nice. Some bloody bones. Alright, yeah. I wonder what kind of sick person even, like, does this. Alright. So, we're up to here now. Alright. Ah, you're back. So, how went your first real contract? A bit more exciting than what Nazir's been offering, I'd wager? I did what had to be done. Nothing more. Of course, dear. Of course. And from what my little ravens tell me... You handled yourself quite well. Now, I need your assistance with a matter of a more personal nature. Is something wrong? It's Cicero. Ever since he arrived, his behavior's been... Well, erratic would be an understatement. I do believe he is truly mad, but it's worse than that. He's taken to locking himself in the Night Mother's chamber and talking to someone in hushed but frantic tones. Who is he speaking with? What are they planning? I fear treachery. Astrid, you're being a bit paranoid. Maybe so, but healthy paranoia has saved this sanctuary before, and my gut's telling me that demented little fool is up to something. What do you want me to do? Dear brother, I need you to steal into that chamber and eavesdrop on their meeting. It'll be no use clinging to the shadows. They'll see you for sure. No, you need a hiding place. Somewhere they'd never think to look. Like inside the Night Mother's coffin. But that seems so disrespectful. Be that as it may, we have no other choice. You need to remain unseen. Now go, before they meet, and report back to me with whatever you learn. Is there anything else I should know? I don't believe so. But I'll be able to instruct you further after you've returned from the chamber. It depends on what you learn. And make haste. You must be in place before Cicero and his... ally arrive. They could be planning another meeting any time. Any idea who can conspire with Cicero? That's the real question, isn't it? The jester enters, seals the door, and the conversation begins. So someone must be waiting for him inside. Any one of us could enter that chamber silently, unnoticed. But who amongst us would dare conspire against the sanctuary? The very thought breaks my heart. What do you think Cicero is planning? Isn't it obvious? As the Night Mother's keeper, he believes he's entitled to rule of this sanctuary. Cicero will cite our independence as the need to revert to the old ways. He'll claim we're undisciplined, unruly, heretical even. Ironically, the Night Mother could prove to be just as much a victim, the queen in a fool's twisted game of chess. All right, go. let's go. Quickly, hide in the coffin before Cicero and the traitor meet. You have questions? Oh boy, you're creepy. Let's go. My mom never my mom told me never to talk to creepy lizards. Creepy creepy lizards. Alright, baby. Let me get inside that cough. Oh wow. But yeah. You cute. I had a glitch once where for some reason I stayed Are in the we coffin. Alone? Wait. Yes. <laughs> yes. Alone. <laughs> Sweet solitude. No one will hear us. Disturb us. Every 
everything is going according to plan. The others, I've spoken to them, and they're coming around, I know it. The wizard Festus Crex, <laughs> perhaps even the Argonian, and the Unchild. What about you, hmm? Have you... have you spoken to anyone? No? No, of course not. I do the talking, the stalking, the seeing, and the saying. And what do you do? Hmm? Nothing! Not... Not that I'm angry. Oh, never. Cicero understands. <laughs> Cicero always understands. You have no bays. You will talk when you're ready, won't you? Won't you? Sweet night, mother. Poor Cicero. Dear Cicero. Such a humble servant. But he will never hear my voice. For he is not the listener. Oh, but how can I defend you? How can I exert your will if you will not speak to anyone? Oh, but I will speak. I will speak to you, for you are the one. Yes, you. You who shares my iron tomb, who warms my ancient bones. I give you this task. Journey to Wallen Road. Speak with Armand Mortier. Poor Cicero has failed you. Poor Cicero is sorry, sweet mother. I've tried so very hard. But I just can't find the listener. Tell Cicero the time has come. Tell him the words he has been waiting for all these years. Darkness rises. When silence dies. Hey. What? What treachery? Defiler. Debaser and defiler. You have violated the sanctity of the Night Mother's coffin. Explain yourself. Speak, worm. The Night Mother spoke to me. She said I'm the one. She spoke. To you? More treachery. More trickery and deceit. You lie. The Night Mother speaks only to the listener. And there is no listener. Wait, she said to tell you. Darkness rises when silence dies. She... She said that. She said those words. To you. Darkness rises when silence dies. But those are the words, the binding words, written in the keeping tomes. A signal so I would know. Mother's only way of talking to sweet Cicero. Then it's true. She's back. Our lady is back. She has chosen a listener. <laughs> she has chosen you. <laughs> All hail the listener. <laughs> By Sithis, this ends now. Back away, fool. Whatever you've been planning is over. Are you all right? I heard the commotion. Who was Cicero talking to? Where's the accomplice? Reveal yourself, traitor. I spoke only to the Night Mother. I spoke to the Night Mother, but she didn't speak to me. Oh, no! She spoke only to him, to the listener. What? The listener? What are you going on about? What is this lunacy? It's true! It's true! The Night Mother has spoken. The silence has been broken! The listener has been chosen! 
Yeah. What he said. When I heard Cicero screaming, I knew you'd been discovered. I feared the worst. Are you all right? Yes, I'm fine. Then what in Sithis name is going on? Cicero spoke to the Night Mother, but she spoke to you. Is this just more of the fool's rambling? Yes, it's true. The Night Mother spoke to me. She said I was the one. What? So Cicero wasn't talking to anyone else? Just the Night Mother's body? And the Night Mother, who, according to everything we know, will only speak to the person chosen as listener, just spoke. Right now. To you? Yes. By Sithis. And? What did she say? I must speak to someone named Amand Moltier in Volenrund. Amand Moltier? I have no idea who that is. But Volenrude, that I have heard of, and I know where it is. So I should go to Volenrude? I should talk to this man? Hmm. No. No! Listen, I don't know what's going on here, but you take your orders from me. Are we clear on that? The Night Mother may have spoken to you, but I am still the leader of this family. I will not have my authority so easily dismissed. I... I need time to think about all this. Go see Nazir. Do some work for him. I'll find you when I'm ready to discuss the matter further. All right, all right. Oh, you are the listener! You are the listener! I have served Mother well. I this is all just too much too fast. Go get some work from Will the Night Mother speak to me again? <laughs> Surely you're pulling Cicero's leg! Wait! <laughs> the listener is serious. <laughs> oh. Well, of course the Night Mother will speak to you again. She might speak now, or later, or... I don't know. But speak she will. The Night Mother is part of you now. You get to hear voices inside your head. The rest of us should be so lucky. Cicero, do you want to be the listener? Oh, well, yes, I did, I did indeed. I tried to listen, <laughs> tried so hard, but the Night Mother never spoke to poor Cicero. The silence became almost maddening. But that was then, this is now. You're the listener, and the Night Mother chose you for a reason, I'm sure. Cicero will remain the happy keeper. What exactly does a listener do? Oh, the listener, well, listens. <laughs> the Night Mother speaks to you, guides you on your path. But when the Night Mother speaks, the listener must obey. You must. For her word is the will of Sithis, and Sithis is the Dark Brotherhood <gasps> incarnate. Alrighty. So we I'm found out I'm a list. Oh, blood. Nice. You should be. Things are finally looking up. Alright, uh burning flames. Let's go he uh here. Let's go do a couple contracts for Nazir. Nazir. Contract. Still here. What's the matter? Can't handle what I'm throwing your way. Asher wanted me to to Asher wanted me to see you about some work. Well then, your timing couldn't be better. As it turns out, I've got two new contracts. One rather easy assignment, and another that should prove quite a challenge. Your first target is an orc bard named Lerbuk. The other is a vampire by the name of Hearn. Happy hunting. Tell me about Lurbuk. He is, by all accounts, the worst bard in all of Skyrim. Apparently, so many people sought his death, Astrid had to hold a lottery to determine the client. Tell me about Hearn. He's a vampire and has blended into human society for years. 
He's never far from his female companion, Hurt, also a vampire. The contract is for the male, Hearn, but you'll probably have to contend with the female, too. So for Sithis' sake, watch yourself. Alright, um... Hunting. I believe I met Hearn and Hurt before. They live like in a next, in like a water mill near Falkreef. Well, it's like in between Riverwood and Falkreef. It's like in next to the lake. Like they have a mill there. So let's just go and just kill these guys. Alright. Alrighty. Alright, quests. Yeah, who are we gonna kill first? Let's kill Hearn. Uh, yep, they're yep right next to the lake. All right, uh, we're gonna have to walk there a bit, so don't mind if I. Ah, oh, I think I chose the longer route. Nah, screw this. Uh, okay, look at the map. Okay, so we go up this little hill. Wow, Skyrim can get beautiful at times. I wonder what season it is. Is this like like fall or like winter? Or, I mean, this looks like spring because like if it was winter, everything would be covered in snow, no doubt. If it was fall, the leaves would be changing colors. If it was summer, I don't know. <laughs> if it was spring, then I guess yeah. What the? Hmm. Must have heard something. All right. So we're just gonna go all the way to her. Dang, what was that? And let's go. Up, oh, a dead moose. Dead mo Ah, oh, that's a deer. Screw ya. Alright, so we're like literally just like walking next to the dang lake. And we're enjoying ourselves and I see some crazy shit going on here so let me just save the game quickly because you never know what kind of shit may happen and I think those those are oh no hell no those are the just the car just 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 the sears and they have a Dalmor prisoner with them run Pedro <laughs> Oh boy. Ah oh man, they killed the prisoner. You know what? Load. You know what? I'm gonna I'm gonna like I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna like kill them all and I'm gonna I'm not uh, yeah. Hey fool. Got a problem? This doesn't concern ah! Never should have <laughs> Help me! All right, I'm dead. Move along. Why am I such an idiot? Oh, I know why. That's why. Now I'm ready. Hello. This doesn't concern me. Ah, Screw you. Screw you too. Screw you. Screw you. Screw you. And you're home. Screw you. Screw you. Screw you. And you're screwed. Yeah, I just got screwed by my big dagger. Alright, thank you for your hospitality. I will now take a lot of stuff from you. And I see a wolf and if you know any true sons and daughters. I'll have that gold. Scott, tell them to head to Windhelm. And you are free. <laughs> Damn faithless Imperials. Alright, we did a good deed. Now let's get back to our dark 
Ah, oh, crap. Shrouded armor. Iron gloves. Backstab this. Alright. I'm not really looking for doing too much backstabbing, so I guess I'm just gonna do this. Because this, this, these things are badass. Yeah. Although they're iron gauntlets, but they're pretty badass iron gauntlets. Oh crap, huge spider. Screw you, screw you, screw you, screw you! Why does this always happen to me? Okay, you know what? Screw this. Uh, <sighs> give me a sec. <sighs> Dang. I killed the Justicars, the giant spider, the bandits, the wolves, the uh, skeletons, and yeah. Um, yeah. You know what? Let me save this quickly so I won't have to go all the way back there. Thank you very much. And let's. Oops, nope. Wrong button. Let's wait till it's morning time so we could rape them right in the morning. Save that. Well, now, what have we here? A lost little lamb. Assassins versus vampire. A fight for the ages. Ah, so the Brotherhood has come for old Hearn, has it? Well then, let us meet as equals. Never should have come here. Ah! No! <laughs> Ah oh, man, his lady friend's coming over here. Ah! All you've got. No more. I yield. I yield. Please, mercy. Go. Take your stuff. Thank you for lockpick. Thank you for everything. Thank you for this, for that, for this. And your ruby ring. And. Yeah, okay. Alright, so we're done with that. And we're running a little bit at a time, so. What I would recommend say is we robbed their house. Then I will do the next video and kill the other the the bard, the Lurbuck, 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 whatever. And we'll have some nice times together. Uh thank you. Uh no last thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Let me see what you have in here. Ah, oh, charcoal. Not interested. Alright. Dresser? Gold? Nope. 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 Got some nice venison. Alright. So I guess we're done here. So, yeah. Uh, so yeah, I guess I'll tell you. I'll, like... I'll do the next video. A little bit later. Uh, because I don't want this video to be too long. Alright, thank you for watching everyone, I uh, hope you liked it, subscribe, like, comment, but most of all, I hope you enjoyed the video. So, let's wrap this up, so, oh, ants, that's awesome, I just, that's termites, or whatever, wow, I just noticed that, literally, like, that's so awesome.
mean, obviously they're not like the best graphics, but whatever. Wow, this guy's are hot. I'm sinking through the ground, man. I? Oh, no. Alright. So, yeah, guys, thank you for watching. Like, comment, subscribe. Enjoy I hope you enjoyed the video, and see you later. Ciao.